All right, folks, here we go. AnyConnect, we're going to show just the user experience here for corporate and non-corporate assets. Um, so on the left, we have a corporate asset, and on the right, we have a non-corporate asset. So we're going to connect. These are vanilla machines. They do not have any client on them at this point. Um, so we're going to connect to a web portal and, uh, and then deploy automatically the client. And then obviously based on um, what, how the client's connected and the individual connecting, obviously we can put controls on those individuals. So here we go. So you can see there's no client there, at least in the taskbar. So we'll open up a browser. And from that point, um, we're going to connect to the VPN head end, which in our case is going to be an ASA. And from there, you can see automatically uh, it's asking us to allow an act ActiveX um, to do some checks. Once we say yes on both sides, then the browser will come up and we will log in. And you're going to notice that we're going to use the same group on both sides. Um, once we do that, um, we'll push the client down. We're going to also include the integration of Umbrella. So formerly OpenDNS uh, as part of the um, uh, offering. Um, and we could also include things like Endpoint AMP as well. So AnyConnect becomes much greater than a just a, a VPN client or an 802.1x supplicant. All right, so um, we'll log in on the non-corporate side. There we go. Let's just say yes here. Do the same here, and you can notice in the background it, it gives you instructions on what the user should do. Um, you can see the circled yes there, for example. All right, so now we're downloading, and remember this is the, this is probably the longest um, uh, process uh, is the initial installation of the client. Um, typically, uh, once the client is there, um, you would just just connect directly. And we've got a couple of capability, really cool capabilities like trusted network detection. So something like um, uh, I'm off-prem, uh, it automatically VPNs in. When I'm on-prem, it knows when to turn off. Um, Umbrella also with the OpenDNS is protecting the asset when it's off-prem. So it automatically connects and, and provides that DNS and IP layer protection. Um, as well as uh, when it's on-prem, it knows to use the corporate instance of Umbrella. Um, Endpoint AMP, if that was uh, a part of the uh, deployment as well, will always protect the asset, whether it's on or off-prem, it, it doesn't really matter. So you got a couple additional layers that you could integrate through AnyConnect. And again, just make it simplified from an operations perspective that you're not managing all these disparate uh, endpoint security products, right? You're, you're, you've got a unified platform that you can leverage. So again, this is the longest part, right? We're waiting for the installation to complete. We're moving along though. Say yes here. On the other side, it should prompt as well. And here we go. Just finishing up on the, the corporate side. We'll say yes on the non corporate side. And as you can see, there's no difference right now whether you're corporate or non-corporate. What's going to happen, though, is when we finally log in, we've got checks in place to determine which one's a corporate asset and which one's a non-corporate, even though on both assets they're connecting with an Active Directory uh, account right, um, through the VPN. So in our case, we're doing dual authentication. So we're using uh, Active Directory and we're using certificates. So in this case, their certificate hasn't been deployed to the user and we're prompting them to go ahead and create that certificate. Now, you don't have to do that. The prompt, uh, I chose to do that here. And so here we go. We're connecting. Now I'll go ahead and finally connect 
and uh, we're, we should be good to go. We'll get a prompt. In my case, I have a prompt that uh, specifies the level of access one would have. Um, on this side, we got to say okay, and then obviously create the certificate. Again, no difference between the corporate and non-corporate asset right now. Um, the difference will be in uh, the connection. So you can see here that's full access for this individual when they connect. Um, they are 100% up and running. Uh, and it, So you can see the VPN is good and green. And on the other side, uh, we will log in and you will see a prompt that comes up. And, and this is where the control is in place, right? Now we know we're doing the check. We realize it's a non-corporate asset, and therefore this individual is going to have restricted access. So on the corporate side, we're just going to surf uh, to a web page to see uh, that it's working, and we can see uh, that it is. So that's good. That's an internal site. On this side, you can see that there's additional controls in place. IE, friendly IE, a little uh, choke there from IE, but that's fine. Um, okay, so uh, this one here, we're going to check um, some connectivity. And again, this is a restricted user, so um, they should not be able to have um, the same level. They won't have the same level of access as that corporate asset connecting. So it's trying to get to that one web page. Uh, it's going to time out. Um, because they can't get there, but I did allow them to be able to ping that server. So let's just make sure that they can ping it. So it just confirms that the connectivity is there and correct. Perfect. All right, folks. So that's AnyConnect uh, with the Umbrella integrated for corporate and non-corporate assets.